Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another quick tip in Orca tonight on how to exclude a specific spot of the bed from printing at all. Uh, so this can come in handy if you're running maybe uh, something where you are holding down uh, a print surface with some clips. Uh, like we had one of the commenters on a previous video pop up where Orca seemed to be coming along and the nozzle was hitting the clips. Maybe you have some damage to the bed and you want to make sure that you're not printing in that specific area. Uh, so you can specify a area in Orca Slicer of your bed and it will exclude that area from being printed on. So you need to know a little bit about how the X and Y coordinate system is set up. So hopefully everyone knows that. If not, we'll do a quick little um, uh, visualization. But you're essentially, you're specifying the four corners in this particular area to exclude from the printable area. Uh, and so essentially what we want to make sure we're doing, if everyone, hopefully everyone remembers grade school, right, stuff, but Right, your X is running along the front from left to right. Your Y is running front to back and up and down here. Right, your front left corner is zero 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 X by zero Y. That is your origin for most printers. If you're running, you know, a delta or something, it could be slightly different. But essentially, this is your coordinate system. And if I want to specify the twenty millimeters or ten millimeters of the whole front section of this as unprintable, like they stay away from this area, then I just need to identify what those four corners are, and then put that in a particular format with an Orca slicer so that you can do it. Likewise, if you've got, let's say, a damaged area of your bed, maybe you got a little too aggressive removing a print or something like that, um, but it's, it's jacking up your prints when you print, and you've got a smaller area that you want to specify, same thing. You need to identify, probably get out some calipers or, or a, a ruler or something like that, and try and specify as best you can, estimate where the, the, the coordinates that are going to surround that damaged area that you don't want to print on, and then find out what those four corners are. So I've got two examples here, uh, and it's pretty simple what we need to do. Uh, right over here, up next to your printer, you're going to click the box next to the name of your printer and say Edit Presets. And right here on the Basic Information tab, you've got Printable Area, which is basically set by your printer, right? So if we're running an Ender 3 S1 in this case, we're 220 by 220 in 270 in the Z. Uh, excluded bed area. So this is where you are specifying those four corners. I don't think it really matters in which order you're doing it because it's going to figure it out. But you can only specify one area. Um, and I've tried doing different separators like semicolons and colons and parentheses and brackets and all these different things to try and specify maybe a front section and a back section to exclude. And I have not found a way to do it. So if you found a way to do it, drop a comment and let me know because uh, I'm, I'm running out of keys on the keyboard. Um, but so essentially, based on our little example here, right, 0, 0, 20, 220 by 0, blah, blah, blah. We're separating those with a comma and putting those uh, in Orca Slicer, just like this. Separate it with a comma. You don't need any other, um, no other syntax. You don't need any other characters around it. Uh, this also pertains to print height. So if you need to limit your print height for some reason, so by default, right, this Ender 3 is actually uh, 270 millimeters of printable height. If you want to limit that, some reason you've got a height limitation, whatever reason, you can now specify, no, I only want to be able to print 250 millimeters. And so really what this is doing is, sorry, let me get ahead of myself here, then save this. You can either save it as uh, save it as a copy, right, as a user preset, inside only this project, all that good stuff. I'm going to save it as a copy and hit OK. Now you can see represented by this gray area, uh, that is my excluded bed volume. Now, if I go in here and I Put that in now i get this error message that says hey you're too close to this exclusion area and it is not going to let me slice the plate right so it's basically just a fail safe from slicing now all i have to do is move this away and the error goes away and my slice plate comes in same thing if we're going to go with a height right so if we if we limited uh the height of this and i said 265 well, I'm going to get the same thing. Now we're over the limit of what I said at 250 millimeters, right? So now we have to bring this back down. The second I'm back down, uh, I'm all good and I can actually slice the plate. Now, <clears throat> the uh, the second scenario, let's back this off a little bit. There we go. Second scenario is let's say I've got, I know I've got this sort of damaged area in my bed, right? I, I, those magnetic sort of flexible build surfaces that are kind of texturized that are super popular and super cheap. I have a ton of those for my enders uh, and I would get a little aggressive with them and, and I would get like a bubble or I'd get a crease, something, and it would kind of jack up the print. Uh, and so I would, I would on purpose sort of move my, my uh, model around and avoid that particular area. Uh, so uh, in this case, you can actually do the same thing. You can go and measure. Uh, you can specify 
try and try and get as close to where you think that damage is and basically just go right back in here and now put in your new coordinates hit save okay close that down and now i'm going to say that area i want to stay away from so anything i put on the build plate even a little bit it's going to go ahead and throw an error message and i've got to get away from it before it it chills out let's be doing anything so there you go there's your quick tip for tonight i, I don't know how useful it's going to be to you uh hopefully useful to somebody um do me a favor like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one thanks a lot